welcome to Delhi HD Gaming. Hi guys, I got another build ready for work. This is a mid tower case from Cooler Master. It's the Elite K350. Nice little case, very light. It's got two Corsair Vengeance 8 gigabyte DDR3 at 1866 megahertz. Uh, it's got the AMD A10 5800K. It's unlockable. It's a 3.8 gigahertz socket, FM2 at 100 watt max. It's got a front and rear stock cooling fan. I think they're 12 inch. I added an extra cooling fan on the side. It's the Vegas Duo. It's a 14 inch. It's got dual LED, red and blue. It does really, really well. It's adjustable. And there's also a 11 step LED light show, as far as I can see. I got a one terabyte Western Digital Carrier Green hard disk at 64 MB cache at 7200 RPM. Not bad. I got the power supply, it's from Corsair CX500. It's well over what it needs, unless I had another graphics card. It is compatible on HD 6670. You can run this in Crossfire. The graphics are pretty good. You can play medium gaming graphics, it'll handle it. There's also a Zalman Performa cooler with an 8 inch fan which uh, cools the system very well. It's also very very quiet which is very good if you got the uh, computer right beside you for many hours at a time. Let's check out the rear of the case. This is the rear I.O. It's got two USB 3, four USB 2, a DVI port, HDMI port and a VGA port, keyboard uh, and mouse compatible port. The front of the case you can see power button, USB 3, microphone jack, stereo headphone jack, a USB 2, and a reset switch. On the top of the case, you can see there's room for a 14-inch fan. You also have room for a 14-inch fan on the inside bottom of the case if you want to add more ventilation. The only thing bad about this case is there's no uh, room for cable management. Uh, Zalman does a good job of uh, keeping this uh, desktop pretty cool. Max 56 degrees, so the cooler is doing a very good job. The Zalman Performa, and here we see the different uh, sizes of the mid tower with the full tower. The full tower is my home computer, it's the Chaser MK1 from Thermaltake. Awesome, awesome case. So you can see the size difference, not bad. Like I said, it's very light. It's all steel, except the front, which is plastic. And here we see the Vegas at work, doing its thing. It's got 11 different uh, steps for its light show. Not bad. I like the red and blue though. The red and blue really stands out together because it makes the inside of the case look uh, almost fluorescent. It highlights all the reds and the blues. That looks pretty nice. Total cost of this build is 470 euros without the extra graphics card. All right guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. Take care.